Hello, good evening. How are you doing, everyone? Is everybody okay? Hello, Santos. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Rosa. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. Great. <laughs> <laughs> a lot to do tonight. Even though I know we are tired and maybe some others are cold, but we are going to work. Hey, we are going to try to have fun tonight. Learning, right? So the first thing, you know, is to call the roll. So everybody, please, please um, <clears throat> get ready. Turn your cameras on. And when I call your names, you say press. God, you look so nice, so beautiful tonight. Everyone is there. Uh, oh, I'm seeing that Carlos Alberto and Hernande have photos, right? But thank you everybody for turning your cameras on. All right, so uh, let me call the roll right now. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudez. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. All right, Carlos. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Claudia Yamilet Correa, Coreas. No está Claudia. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Okay. Eric José Hernández Campos. Eric. Not yet. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Hernan, all right. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Good evening, presente. Hi. Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Chamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. All right. I see you're tired, Karen. <laughs> but tomorrow, yes. yeah, you, you don't have classes tomorrow, right? You're no. going to have a rest. Yeah. All right. I need it. <laughs> yeah, I know that you needed it. Magdiele Saúl Garcia Morales. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Present teacher. Sorry. Present teacher. Ok, Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Muy bien. Gracias, los dos Rafaeles. Ricardo, Tony, no, Mendoza. Yo fui teacher Magdiel. Oh, sorry. Sí, mire, ya es la segunda vez, ¿verdad? <risa> es la segunda sí. vez que confundó su voz, Magdiel. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Ricardo, Ricardo, Tony, Mendoza, Castro. Good night, teacher. Hi. Present. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Entonces no estaba Rafael Antonio Barrera. No, teacher. No, ¿verdad? Todavía no. Ok. Rosa no, del Carmen, Santa María Tobar. Present, teacher. Ok. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. I am here, teacher. Ok. Oh, you told me about Javier. It's not coming, right? Thank you, Santos. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present teacher. Okay, very lucky, right in time. Yeah. Uh, Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. He's got his baby already, right? Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Hey, teacher. Present. Okay, Pedro, welcome. Okay, people, we are going to start a class by doing our used um or a custom um <clears throat> feedback 
right? Hello, Rafael Antonio. Oh, I see you're present. I will take it. Hello, this your present. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Good evening. I'm here now. Hello, Blanca. Welcome. We missed you yesterday. All right. Thank you. We'll check you in already. Just one second. In this very moment. Okay, here we go. Well, people, here we are at module five. Let's remember we are on unit one. Unit one is about manufacturing, right? Manufacturing. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is you are going to go to your kitchen right now and you are going to look for a product, okay? That has the directions on it. Right now, I will give you um, 40 seconds, okay? Everybody go to your kitchen and bring a product. A ver, todos van a ir a su cocina, van a ir a traer un producto que tenga las direcciones ahí de cómo se hace, ¿ok? O de cómo usarlo también. Could be medicine too. Puede ser medicina también. Any product. Teacher. Tell me. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm not at home right now. Oh, okay then. Uh, you can look for something around you, right? That uh, has the instructions on it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody ready? How to use something, right? With the directions or instructions how to use something or how it was made or things that are processes on it, right? You guys ready? Let's start. Let's start. Mm -hmm. A ver, tenemos a Karen por ahí, ya lista con la Virogrip. Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Okay. And the instructions están escritas de una manera. ¿Ok? Están escritas como un imperative. ¿Ok? Pero le vamos a poner first, second, then, uh, next, after, finally. ¿Ok? Como ustedes me van a decir esas instrucciones. Digamos que no las alcanzamos a leer, pero solo uno la lee, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí empiezan a decir, va, es que mira, primero tenés que hacer esto, segundo... That's what we are going to do in English. Okay, we're going to try. So, Karen, please, you may start with the viral grip. Okay. Okay. First, uh, boil a cup of water. Then, I don't know how do you say. Mm. Pour? Pour? Ah, okay. Okay. Pour the... the Oh, come on. The I content? never use that The content, uh-huh. Okay. Put I the content. Put the content in the cup. All right. In the cup. Mm -hmm. And uh, add. And then? And then add water, hot water. All right. And mix with a spoon. Okay. And then drink and it. Finally? Finally drink it. All right, you may add some honey, right? Finally, okay, for a good taste. Okay, thank you very much, Karen. Let's look at the product that Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz brought. Okay, tell us. Okay, this is uh, cinnamon tea, uh, black tea mm -hmm. with okay. cinnamon. Okay. Uh, we have uh, only two steps to get a cup. Uh, okay, first, or over tea bag, steep for two minutes or whatever time you like. Uh, remove the bag, the little bag, 
Uh, but no squeezing, please. Oh. Um, the second is for iced tea by the glass, uh, steep a little longer, pour over ice. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tim, okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it means that you have only two steps. Two, two steps means the first step the and back. the last step, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, great. Put over the bag. Uh, wait uh, two minutes. Uh, remove the bag. The 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 la bolsita. Mm -hmm. The bag and enjoy it. All right, all right, very good. And there is an advice, right? There is, um, it's not an. It's a piece of advice. Um, oh, yes. And it says, don't squeeze it, right? Don't, don't squeeze, squeeze it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is because of the accidents, right? That happen. You are squeezing mm -hmm. it and then it uh, tears out, right? Or it tears up. So that is why maybe I think so, right? Well, I usually <laughs> do. <laughs> do you do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. I usually do that too. Mm -hmm. And I love to do something. I do it like this with a bat. Uh -huh. I love to do that. <laughs> I don't know what. Maybe because when I was a little baby, my mm -hmm. mom, when she was, uh, when I was called or I had a call, so she made uh, the tea, uh, chamomile tea, and then she gave me the the tea bag, and it was like um, a new thing for me. So I loved to um, suck it up, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Eso me quedo hasta ahora. I do it till now yeah as interesting <laughs> yeah i love it i don't know why but it's something eh, de las 45 cosas que no sabían de mí verdad <laughs> okay, okay. No es amargo. yes it is yes it is mm -hmm. it, and it depends on the kind of tea it depends on the, the kind of tea because some are acid right some are sour some are very uh, bitter, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now we want to listen to Henry. What did you bring, Henry? Uh, panadol. All right. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, sorry, teacher, but I can't read the letters. Oh, okay. I need, so I need glasses. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, Let's try but, to. Uh, I try. I okay, try. I let's try. Let's try. I try. Mm -hmm. As you usually do it, right? Exactly. All right. Okay. First, uh, first, I I open the uh, envelope. Envelope. Uh huh. Envelope. Uh, second, uh, take take the what do you say, pastilla? Peel. 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 Take mm -hmm. the peel with a cup of water. And then relax to feel the uh, re relief. All right, very good, very good. Thank you very much, Henry. Now, Ellen Nilsson, please show us what you found over there. Uh, teacher, I, I didn't find in anything else. Didn't you find um, anything? Okay, but yeah, le, entonces I... le vamos a preguntar así, okay? We're going to ask you, how do you use the earphones. How are you what do you do? Mm -hmm. First, okay, and the first and the first one, I I connect my earphone to the phone. All right. Yeah. Uh, second one, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, what else? But this is this is <laughs> this is simple, right? This is a connect. Yeah, all right. And, Good. And uh huh. Use. Don't you put them into your ears? Oh yeah. The All right. One, I, I put I put them in my ears. All right. And uh, um, I, listen. I listen. Very good. Very good. You play the audio. All right. Very yeah. good. Connect. Okay. In this este caso, sería plug in. All right. Plug in. Plug okay. in. Okay. Very good. Ricardo Tony. What did you bring? Uh, I have my favorite soap. <laughs> okay, very good. 
Tell you us, how do you prepare that? Uh, like a real, uh, you mix the contain this uh, product in two glasses of work. Okay, and first, right? First, mm -hmm. first, sorry, mm -hmm. first. Uh, uh, then uh, you, uh, llevar, you're going to the, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, next, uh, you shake the, the content in the word. Um, next, uh, you ever uh, put up the boil uh, with the word. Uh, uh, next, you ever boil for seven minutes uh, in the fire, uh, low fire. All right. Um, finally, uh, you serve it. Okay, very good, very good. And uh, sería low heat, low, low heat, heat. Okay. all right, low heat, como a fuego lento, right, low Thank heat. You. Very good. Now, let's listen to, um, let's see, Carlos Ernesto. What did you bring? What is that? Uh, uh, can you please uh, turn your microphone on? Okay, teacher, this is um, out plate. Uh, Alina. Alina. Oh, okay, okay, then that's um, oatmeal. Oatmeal plate. Okay. Yeah, oatmeal. oatmeal. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. How, how, how do you prepare it? Okay. Um, first, and uh, first, um, I'll, um, in one, one cup um, of cereal, um, right. mm -hmm. and 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 put um one cup uh, water. Or milk and mix and, and first mix for one minute and add, add sugar and one. How do you say cuchara? Spoon. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one spoon of sugar. Okay. Get ready. Very good, very good. Ahora pongámosle las palabras. A ver, ayúdenme todos para que hagamos el proceso usando las palabras que aprendimos ayer. Sequence words. First, you add the oatmeal to a cup of milk, right? Or water, if you prefer. Second, a ver, todos ayúdenme. Second, you mix, right? You mix the oatmeal. And finally, you add sugar for a better taste, right? Correct? Entonces, recordemos, decimos first, second, si hay un segundo paso, o decimos first, y luego podemos decir next, podemos decir after, okay? ¿Qué otras palabras podemos decir en un proceso? A ver, help me here. Then. Then. Mm -hmm. Right then. Right then. Mm -hmm. After. After. Very good. Right after. Right after. Mm -hmm. Correct. Those are words that indicate that something is in a process. You have to do something after the next step or it's on steps, right? So mm, those were sequence words. So let's go to um, visualize this thing like this, because in our manual, we had um, <clears throat> an exercise that we wanted to to do, right? Oh, good. Yeah, for some reason. All right, here we are. 
let's say this is ¿Alguien tiene listo ya su producto por ahí que quiera participar? A ver. May I, teacher? Okay, please, you may. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is a seafood cream. All right. Crema seafood. De seafood. Yes. Ah, seafood cream. Mm -hmm. uh, number one. Dissolve the contents of the sachet in four cups. No sé si, no sé si dije bien sachet. Sachet. Eh, esa es una palabra que no es inglesa, pero se pronuncia en el inglés así, sachet. Ah, ok. Sachet. Uh -huh. sa sachet. Eh, yo sé que estoy diciendo que un poco mal, pero... Uh, no, no, eh, it's ok. Sachet. Ajá. Sachet. Ah, ok. Number two. Uh, bring to a boil a stirring constant Constantly. Constantly? Constantly, uh huh. And finally, cook for seven minutes over low heat. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Is there anyone else who wants to participate with the product? I would like. Okay, go ahead, please. I have Wilbert and Magdiel, right? So, Wilbert first and second, Magdiel. I have a lemon. Oh, good, good. How do yeah. you, oh, or what do you do with a lemon? Uh, I taste my hand with salt. I'm sorry? I taste my hand with salt. Okay, uh, I cut okay. the lemon. Okay. Part. Uh -huh. I, put, I put on the, the acid lemon, lemon acid on my head. I mix it with salt and thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Finally, after something, right? Okay, good. <laughs> after a shot. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. So that's the final step from another process. All right, okay. good. <laughs> very good. I like the recipe. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, vamos a escuchar a Magdiel. We are going to listen to Magdiel. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> I have a jello. All oh, right, good. Jello. Um, mm -hmm. Jello. Um, third, uh, empty package counted into a bowl. And second, add two cups of boiling bull water. And second, <clears> or <throat> oh, Next, so after, stir until dissolved and add two cups of cold water. Finally, pour into cups and refrigerate it until firm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, just a um, tip, just as a tip, be sure that the words that you are going to use are correct. I mean, be sure that the target vocabulary we learn is correct. So you can use it um, confidently, all right? No se preocupe, Magdiel, usted lo puede usar eh, confiadamente el vocabulario que hemos aprendido ahorita. Trate de que lo que ya aprendió lo diga con seguridad, okay? Para que no se le confunda, por ejemplo, dice after, then, next. Uh, which one of those, right? Nos quedamos, ¿cuál de esas es mejor? No, escoja una y apéguese. And you stick on it, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good, very good. So All right. Is there anyone else who wants to participate in this activity? Y sería el último. Vamos a ver. It's going to be the last one. Okay, go ahead, Rosa, please. Okay. Um, my product is gelatin. <laughs> Yellow, um, all right. First, add package contents into bowl of boiling water. Um, second, dissolve it and I add a cup of cold water. And finally, refri refrigerate 
Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. Until firm. Very good. Excellent, Rosa. Very good. Then we are going to um, go forward. We are going to go forward just a little bit. And we are going to the manuals. Remember that we had a list of steps. There were seven steps we were reading at the last moment in the class. It was about baking cookies. Do you remember that? So we are going to see that. And then we are going to continue with the next activity, the next activity in our manuals. So let's go to that page, right? So this is on page number 10, right? Page 10. So everybody may go over there. So we said that the words, the, sequ the sequence of words were first, a ver, quien me las lee? And I miss. Yes, please go ahead. First, second, third, then, later, after, right after, next, finally. Very good. Thank you very much. So if they are seven, we are going to do it as seven steps here, right? So let's imagine that we are baking the cookies and think. First, combine the margarine, sugar to eggs and vanilla, right? You are making this dough. Second, separately, okay, we put the dough over there resting and we combine flour, baking powder, and salt. So that's the second step. That's the second step. Now, what is the third step? What is the third step? I have two mixtures, right? I have two things. What is the third step? I have to combine both mixtures, right? I'm going to combine bo both mixtures, adding milk, right? With milk, that's the third step. Now, on number four, uh -huh. number four. A ver, Rosa, can you read number four, please? Later, two, later. four, one, later, two, four, one, hour. Okay, number five, Blanca, please. What do we do after, Ellen Nilsson? Okay, uh, number five, right? Yes, please. After roll the mixture to about a quart inch thick. All right, very good. What do we do next, Rafael? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teacher, I arrive at home. Oh, okay, okay, Blanca, okay. Both are Rafael Diaz, right? So uh, let me remember. Rafael Alexander, right? There you are. Okay. Uh, after. Uh, what next. do we do next? Uh -huh. uh, let's cut the cookies. Okay, cut. Cut. Cut the cookies. Cut the cookies. All right. Very good. Blanca, what do we do at the end to finish this process? Oh, I see she was going, right? She was going home. All right. I'm sorry, Blanca. I'm sorry. Right. Then we're going to say Santos. What is the final step? Uh, finally, back for 10 minutes. Okay. Aquí sería bake. Bake, bake. for 10 minutes. Yes. Thank you, Santos. All right, guys. So now we know how to use these words in a sequence of steps, right? Or indicating uh, the uh, steps in a process. Now we are going to read the next activity. We have a description of a product. It's a top selling product in a factory in El Salvador. And it's a chocolate factory. So we're gonna see 
what is the product? What is made of? And the description, right? The specifications. Remember that we say about the features of the product. And we are going to read the product, I'm sorry, the steps to produce it. Then the steps to, one second. All right. Okay, so then we're going to read the steps or the stages of the manufacturing process, all right? What is the product? The product is dark chocolate espresso, right? Espresso. Let's read. Made with our smooth dark chocolate and chunks of our organic espresso bean. Get your chocolate and coffee fix all at once with this delicious treat. Two dollars, right? This is a treat, right? Treat. So now we are going to read. Uh, I, I will ask you this first. What features do you see in this description? What features do you see in this description? ¿Qué cualidades del producto nos están dando en esa descripción? What features are they giving us in this description? Uh, it's organic. Okay, it is organic, very good. Mm -hmm. Made with our smoked dark chocolate. Okay, the ingredients, right? The ingredient, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. What is the last feature they say? Cost. The cost or the price, right? The price. How much is it? Two dollars, right? It cost two dollars. Okay, now let's go and read the steps to produce this product, okay? We want to read the steps to produce this product. Es bastante largo, okay? Es bastante largo. Vamos a tomarnos aproximadamente 10 minutos para que vayamos al breakout room. Lo vamos a leer, okay? Todo el proceso. Yo les voy a mandar un slide con algunas eh, fotos eh, para que ustedes también se ubiquen un poco con el proceso de este dark chocolate, ¿ok? Las fotos están en desorden también, ¿ok? Los pasos están en desorden y nuestro trabajo va a ser ponerlos en orden, ¿ok? Order the steps. I will send you a slide just for you to imagine or to visualize what you're reading, ¿ok? So, let's go there. ¿Sí se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a trabajar página yeah. 10. Ok. Ok, Rafael, hágame un favor. Eh, Cerna, Alexander. Ahorita lo voy a compartir el slide que les digo porque eh, está un poco, tengo varias otras ventanas abiertas y va a tardar un poco. Entonces, lo voy a compartir así. Ok. Usted le hace ahí el screenshot y lo envía, uh, por favor. Ok. Thank you. You send This it. is the layer. Yes. This is the slide. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. 
Okay. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now we are going to go to the breakout rooms. You are going to read all the process, the steps to produce this product. And then you are going to put this in order. You're going to say the first, the second, until the 10th step. All right. 10th step. So they are 10 steps. Creo que yo no estoy en el grupo. No, no estoy. Te voy a enviar el, el, el enlace. Va. ¿Y cómo? Por, ah, por, ah, por aquí, por, por el chat. Ajá. Sí, porque no estoy, no me había fijado. Thanks, Rafael. No, you're welcome. Teacher, we we will be order the images uh, conform to the. Ah, sorry, no era ese. Te lo voy a enviar el de WhatsApp. Te te copié el de. Okay. El de la sí, el de eso no importa. To conform the. According to the according to the steps. Uh, the uh, step? Not necessarily. Ah, the, not necessarily. I just. The box. Yeah, that was the idea at the beginning, right? Of this activity, but it's going to take too long because you have to order the the reading and also you have to order the pictures, it's too much. So just see the pictures to have an idea what is the process, right? For something that you don't understand, maybe you look at the pictures and then you may have the idea, all right? Okay. So it means that you don't have to order the pictures. O sea, no vayan a ordenar las, las figuras porque sería un doble trabajo. Les va a tomar mucho tiempo. All right? I don't understand. Sorry. Lo que, va, lo que van a hacer es, van a ir en el manual a ordenar los pasos que están ahí, ¿verdad? Son 10 pasos, es bastante largo. Leamos cada paso de cómo se produce ese dark chocolate expreso, ¿verdad? Expreso. Mm, y okay. ustedes lo ordenan. Si hay alguno que no entienden, ven las pictures y se van a ubicar qué es lo que quiere decir, right? Ok. Is the, is the 14 page? Uh, no, it was on page 10. Page 10, okay. Yes, page 10, activity 5. Two to five. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, tuvimos problema. Perdimos a Andrea. Oh yes, she has. Uh, she had problems yesterday too at the, the the same time. Okay, voy a compartir la página. I will share with you the the. The screen. Can you see my screen? 
Yes. Okay, there we go. Hello, Andrea. Hola, teacher. Volví a tener problemas con esto. Yeah. Eh, es que se queda sin audio cuando se pasa a los grupos pequeños. No sé por qué. Eh, fíjese que eso se da. Bueno, a mí me ha pasado cuando no está actualizada la aplicación de Zoom. ¿Usted está en teléfono o en computadora? Estaba en la computadora, ahorita ya me pasé al teléfono. Ah, bueno, si en el teléfono, puede irse al Play Store si quiere o darle ahí update al Zoom para que no le dé el mismo problema. No, eh, ahora en, en la mañana lo actualicé de las dos, de mi computadora y, de, y del teléfono. Entonces, pero... No, le volvió no a dar el mismo problema. Me volvió a dar el mismo problema. Lo que voy a hacer es que lo voy a desinstalar de mi computadora y lo voy a volver a instalar. Definitivamente, sí, ese es normalmente el problema, es un error eh, común, digamos, cuando no se, no se actualiza. Este, voy, a, voy a intentar enviarla nuevamente, probablemente hoy sí pueda ingresar, ¿ok? Ok, bien. Ok, gracias. Chao. Ok. Ah, si no me equivoco, el número dos, porque habla de una inmediatez, sería que la, la masa de cocoa es, en, es enviada de manera inmediata a la fábrica en la Unión o Santa Ana, escuela de punta a punta. Hello. Hello, teacher. English, please. Y cocoa más. <laughs> yes, you, you, should, you should read. Go straight, go straight, straight to the factories in La Union or Santa Ana. De que para darle sentido en orden, tenemos que saber qué dice. That's why I sent this slide for you to have an idea through the pictures, right? Ah, okay. Right? Uh -huh. Procesar los granos de café, la procesadora, la masa de chocolate. No están en orden, pero eh, les da la idea para poder entender la que no entiendan. Ah, ok. I don't know. The products are with him, so what is it? At the chocolate factory, we pass in La Fabrica de Chocolate. We pass crumbs
El que está arriba que ha marcado como tres, me suena que sería el cuarto. We mix the song with cocoa, liquor and coffee beans, as well as special chocolate paper. O sea, este sería el, el dos. Sí. Y las noticias internacionales, la Organización Mundial de la Salud mantiene el nivel de riesgo global. Continue, guys. I'm going it. to see another group, all right? All right. Porque aquí lo que dice es de que en la fábrica de la chocolate. Pusimos un rico azúcar. We cut this ingredient together. Cuando el chocolate fuera, we pass the cramp. Ah, this is complicated. We cut the fish. We add a sugar. No, porque según los pasos que teníamos en el otro, Aquí no vemos que tuesten el cacao ni que lo. A menos que lo asumamos como el que está aquí. Uh -huh. Este. Espérenme, voy a cambiar de, de vista para poderlo editar. Aquí dice: The meal. Eva, eva, We cook eva, this ingredient eva, together. Es. Grumer es el que está aquí a la par de la molienda y la cosa blanca, o sea, granos, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Y ahí dice, we, we mix the groomer with cocoa, liquor and coffee bean, as well as special chocolate flavoring. 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 We uh -huh. mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring coffee bean this of the chocolate factory we passed el dos the groomer groomer Groom crumbs, ground, throw a pink meal, throw a pink meal, pink meal. Cool. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs, yeah. throw a pink meal. Porque el último. El último que está aquí es el, 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 el donde está el chocolate líquido, donde dice chocolate undergoes the finally, finally special production, special refining, counting, and. This one. Uh -huh. Vaya, aquí Asumimos dice, que este sería el 10. Chocolate the, undergrounds, the final special production stage yeah. reffening. Counting and temperature. En la cuatro dice, the cocoa must go straight to the factory in la Unión o Santa Ana. O sea, esa es la del sería camión. Sería el dos. Es Entonces, camión. este sería el dos. Sí. Que, sí. And this one. Asumamos que de nombre three. En la que está.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, Juan Francisco. Sorry, teacher. We are on the breakout room, so I'm going to send you to a group for uh, prepare the page number 10. It's activity five, what we are working at, okay? Okay, teacher, I am not power. I'm sorry? I am not, no, no. Bueno, the power no tengo, was cut? Yes, no tengo energía y, y me han pasado datos un ratito, pero no sé si, si me va a durar mucho. <laughs> okay, okay. But try, try okay, joining, okay. joining to the breakout room, all right? Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. El resultado ya como el, la masa de cacao. Sí, sería la masa ya de cacao. Pero entonces sería que se producimos, este, aquí dice, we produce a rich cream chocolate liquid, este. Pero esta es esta. Quiero ver. Dice que se procesa el cacao como en grano, ¿va? Esta tal vez puede ser para este, miren, este que dice, we cook this ingredient together. Porque ahí se ven varias cosas, ¿no? En mezclan los ingredientes. Ajá. Sí, me parece sí, bien. Sí, podría Pero ser. Entonces, podría. este tendría que ser quizás antes, ¿verdad? After. O sea que tendría que ser este el 3, quizás. Sí, podría ser Ajá. el 3. Sí. Ahora, lo que no entiendo yo es esas otras máquinas que se ven ahí, ¿qué son? ¿O para qué son? Sí, son dos máquinas, de hecho. No, sí. tres. Son tres máquinas, pero vaya, una, una le hemos puesto como que es el molino, pero... ¿Será ese el molino? Es donde ser los molinos. Man. Sí. ¿Y las pero otras máquinas? Es... Hello. Here I am. Hello. How are you doing here? Uh, how is it going? Nos estábamos preguntando sobre el por qué nos puso a hacer chocolate en vez de hacer un fresco. Oh, yeah, you're right. Horchata, right? Horchata. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because yesterday we, uh, uh, we made uh, pupusas, right? So now, to, today we should make some horchata. Okay, well, guys, you were, you were talking about the machinery you see there. Uh, the machines are related with different processes. For example, you have tempering, you have cooking, right? Because it says we cook these ingredients together. So you see over there, there is a, a big uh, machine like caldera, right? Like a big cooking machine. And then you see the tempering, like está abajo de los cocoa beans, es para temperar tempering. 
All right, tempering machine, para, dar, para enfriar el chocolate, right? Tempering. And the last one, this one, the one that is next to the truck, next to the truck, there is another machine. That machine is the meal, right? That's the meal. Mm -hmm. Ese sería el molino. Uh -huh. Este. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. It's an industrial pin mill. O sea que el otro sería como para coserlo, es como una marmita, eh, algo así se ve, como que es una máquina que funciona con, con vapor o algo así. Mm, well, it's a very big thing. I, I really don't know these kind of machines, but I think they put everything together in that. Uh, I know this kind of things like they melt all the ingredients, lo derriten, digamos, eh, se, se llaman calderas, as, I, as far as I know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Entonces sería, sería como... Se, se muele de ahí el, el, el cocimiento y posteriormente el, el enfriamiento. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And also remember the transportation, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Pero el transporte sería como ya el, lo, lo final, entonces. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Finally. Mm -hmm. Could be, it could be, right? Because in the middle of the process, maybe they transport the raw material to the factories, right? So it could be also at the beginning, right? Porque son sacos. Es la materia prima, entonces. Saco. Mm -hmm. O sea, que tiene que ser al principio, o no? It could be, it could be. Hay que ir leyendo ahí, ¿ok? Vamos leyendo. I, uh, you need to read each step, right? Los pasos. Yes. Ok. Con el son dice, con el son de chupeta. Mm. Eh, según, según lo que entendí, entonces vaya, hay un lugar donde se, se obtiene el producto en semillas, se mezcla, tiene que ir a un molino para, para mezclarse. Y la masa, porque lo que dice el, el, este que está aquí, que la, que la masa vaya, se transporta. Entonces ¿verdad? sería como de invertir el procedimiento. El camión sería el 1 y donde está el cacao sería el 2. Y que el 1 ya está. Pero el 1 es el cacao. It says top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass, right? So the next pat, the, I'm sorry, the next step, it's related with mass, with the cocoa mass, right? What do they do with the cocoa mass after that step? So that will be the second thing. So let's go and check. Where does it say the mass? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es el siguiente paso que relaciona que hacen con la masa? The, the cocoa mass goes Okay, trying. that will be the second step, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's related. Everything is related. So continue. What happened next when the mass is right at the factory? Antes preparamos un café, no llegamos un chocolate. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I think we uh try to solve it as I mean until what you can do, right? So then we're going to check these out in the main room. So now I'm going to check the other group and then I call you, okay? For you to go to the main room. All right. Okay. okay. Hello, Rafael, did you have problems with your connection? Hello, teacher. Uh... Yo pensé que se me había desconectado porque todo se quedó congelado, así que me volví a, oh. a, a conectar, a salir y volví a entrar. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm going to call everybody right now. So we're going to close the, the rooms, all right? So stay here with me. Okay. recorded okay you see when we want to talk about a process of something maybe we don't know exactly the steps of the manufacturing process of that product but if we are reading guys we are reading we can have some keywords that give us the uh, i mean like mm, in light right the the idea, all right? Algo que quiero que siempre tengan en mente que probablemente hasta este momento no comprendamos el 100%, ¿verdad? Estamos com aprendiéndolo, comprendiéndolo. Lo importante es identificar, identify, all right? Then, ubiquémonos un poquito. Estamos tratando de agarrar vocabulario o de comprender cómo explicar un proceso de cómo se produce algo, ¿verdad? Remember that a product is tangible, so we need to know what is the first step. En general, en general, what do you need to produce a product? ¿Qué es lo que se necesita para obtener un producto terminado para iniciar el proceso de manufactura de un producto. ¿Qué es lo que necesitaríamos que sería en general? Machinery. Ok, the machinery. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. What raw else? Material. The materials to produce it, right? The raw materials. And yeah. if we think about the chocolate as a product, then we think, what's the raw material? The cocoa beans, right? So that is why the number one is. A ver, ¿cuál era el número uno? Remember? Material prima, teacher. I'm sorry? Teacher. Tell, tell me. Teacher. I think uh, the most important is uh, how to do the chocolate because. We don't have to do all the process <laughs> how oh, to, do okay. to know how to buy it, right? Or where to buy it. <laughs> yeah. All right, good, good. But this unit, I'm so sorry to tell you guys that this is manufacturing, right? So we are talking about manufacturing. And maybe we don't produce a product, but now we can talk, right? Remember the small talk and the smart talk? Ok, estamos en proceso de llegar a Smart Talk. Ahorita estamos comprendiendo un Small Talk about Manufacturing, ok? Así que no se me frustren, no se me frustren, vamos muy bien. Ahora, now we identify the step number one, right? Step number one. What do you think it will be the next step, the second step? A ver, a ver hasta qué paso llegaron. A ver, díganme, cuéntenme. En su grupo, Henry, ¿hasta cuál llegaron? Finish. Did you finish? Okay. Yes. Do you want to share it? Yes. 
Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you. We start in the first first pass. Uh, we first process step. top quality. First step. First step. First step. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Next, as a step two, the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Union or Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. uh, step three, at the cocoa, uh, at the chocolate factory, we pass the scrum through a pin mill. Number uh, step four, we produce a rich cream chocolate liquid. Step five, we condense fresh whole milk. Step six, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Step seven, we mix the scrum with the cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as special chocolate flavoring. Step eight, we cook these ingredients together. Ingredients, all right. Ingredients, okay. Step nine, the milk evaporate to make milk chocolate scrum. And step 10, finally, the chocolate undergoes the final special production, stage refining, refining, coaching, and temperaturing. All right, tempering. All right, good. Algún otro grupo también lo hizo así? Nosotros más o menos similar, más o menos. Okay, can you show it? You may share it. Okay. The first, we proceed to quality cocoa bean to produce the cocoa mass. Mm -hmm. Second, the cocoa mass goes is right to the factory in La Union or Santana. Number three, we cook this ingredient three thirds. We cook the ingredients together. Number four, we condense fish whole milk. Fresh whole number milk. Mm -hmm. House milk. milk. House oh, milk. Oh. Number, number five, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Right. Mass. Mass. Ma yes. Mass, mass, mass. Six, the meal evaporate to make meal chocolate grooms. Crumbs. Crumbs. Chocolate house. Crumbs. Number seven of the chocolate factory, we pass the grouse to to to. A pink meal. Meal. Through. 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 A pink meal. Uh, number A. We mix the grooms with cocoa liquor and coffee bean as well as a special chocolate flowering. Flavoring. Number nine. We produce a right grain rich chocolate, cream chocolate liquid. liquid. Right grain chocolate leak. And finish chocolate. And fundus, finally, chocolate. I uh, find finally. finally chocolate undergoes the the finite final. final special production target referring refining. State refining. State refining. Conscious 
mm -hmm. and temporary. All right. Okay. Finish. Okay. All right. If you see, you have different um, point of view uh, according, mm, according maybe the reading you are doing, right? So let me see. Okay, so um, I'm going to, to share this. According, with, uh, according to the reading, but let's see this according to the, um, we're gonna say the real process, even though there are steps that can vary, okay? Hay pasos que podrían variar, así como les ha variado a ustedes de acuerdo a la lectura, ¿verdad? Pero uh, déjenme ubicarles un poquito cómo serían los pasos así en general, right? Pensando en una manera general. Teacher assistant. Thank you. We have to call the role. All right, attendance. Good. Más o menos así. Sort of like this, right? Oh, the <laughs> Okay. The Ay, first... Perdón, uh, no problem, no problem. The first step, okay, this is according my reading or according general steps, right? General steps of producing um, chocolate, or this kind of chocolate with milk and all those things, right? So the first step will be we process, uh, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Then the second step will be the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in London and Santana. Then the third step we produce, uh, okay. Aquí porque sería el tercero. Why this is the third one? Because as the pupusas, remember, that has a lot of ingredients. It's a product, but it has a lot of ingredients. I have to prepare the ingredients separately, all right? I have to prepare each ingredient that I'm going to mix or that I'm going to cook together. So I have to have ready all the other ingredients first. So that is what I was asking uh, you, uh, what do you need to produce something, okay? If you need the raw materials, then you have to go for the ingredients too, right? So the third one will, will be, we produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid, right? Then the fourth, we prepare another ingredient, we condense fresh whole milk, right? Then the fifth, the fifth, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass, right? Then. This, the sixth will be, we cook ingredients together, right? After preparing each ingredient separately, then we cook all these together, right? Then we, we wait for the milk to evaporate, right? And it produces the chocolate crumbs, right? Then the eighth step will be that we mix the crumbs. Now that we have the, uh, the it's not the final product, but it's almost final, right? So we have the crumbs and we add cocoa liquor, liquor and coffee beans also as well. It says a special chocolate flavoring. They add a little chocolate flavoring. Then the ninth at the chocolate factory, uh, factory we pass the crumbs through a meal. So we make chocolate powder, right? We make chocolate powder. So that's why the ninth step is at the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pen mill. And then the finally, okay, the final step, estaba como ya escrito ahí, ¿verdad? Dice, the final special production stages, right? The final special production stage, stages, production. Uh, it was refining, counting, 
and tempering. So refining, it means that you made the powder, right? And then you put it in another kind of meal, right? And then you pass this to make or to form, right? The things like quenching, it means um, como ralear, verdad? Como, así como la parte de arriba de las conchas. And tempering, right? Tempering means enfriarlo, right? So yes, that's another point of view, right? A general point of view. So thank you, everybody. Se nos alargó un poquito esta actividad, verdad? Pero sí los dejé que pensaran un poquito para que eh, tomáramos diferentes puntos de vista, ¿ok? Yo creo que los tips que agarraron es, a ver, aquí, aquí dice esta palabra, entonces la siguiente tiene que decir algo de esa palabra, ¿verdad? La siguiente tiene que decir algo de esa palabra y es una buena estrategia, ¿ok? It's a very good strategy. All yo right, solo, guys. Yo solo, me quedé, yo solo me quedé en la hacienda, como no fui a la fábrica, no sé cuál es el proceso. Oh, ok, all right. Well, now you know the process. Now you know the process, right? Okay. So, guys, uh, the topic for tonight is a different topic, all right? We are going to try to do this uh, as simple as possible because this uh, kind of topic is a huge, huge um area right in the in grammar and also uh language right when we study another language and when we want to speak we are going to make this simple right so we are going to do this in context we are going to try so let's remember that we are in unit one and unit one is manufacturing so everything is going to be related to that and uh, the topic for tonight is this one. Uh, no, it's not that one. Manufacturing unit one, right? And this is the topic. How to use what clauses, right? How to use what clauses, right? How to use what clauses. A ver, ¿qué idea les da? ¿Alguien le da alguna idea? Este tema. Ok, vamos a ver, no me voy a ir por otro lado, vamos a ir directo por, para no hacerlo, eh, no salirnos, ok. The objective is that you will be able to introduce important information about a product, just as we did with the chocolate, right? There is a description with some features of the product. It's information, right, that we're going to use to identify, use, and structure what clauses. So it will be in context, all right? It will be in context. Es la forma más fácil de que comprendamos el uso de la gramática, porque parts of, part of the speech, o lo que nosotros aquí en español le llamamos la sintaxis de la oración, ¿verdad? ¿Ustedes saben mucho de la sintaxis de la oración en español? Que el objeto directo, el objeto indirecto, que el adverbio, las, clave, las cláusulas adverbiales. Si nos vamos por ese lado, se nos hace complicado y vamos a aprender a leer, vamos a aprender a escribir, pero no vamos a agilizar el speaking, ¿ok? Entonces, por eso es que la estrategia es hacerlo en context, ¿ok? No nos vamos a ir en teoría, we are going to use it. All right. So the agenda was the feedback that it got a little longer. Oh, uh, yeah, a little longer than we expected. Um, uh, we presented the class topic and objective presentation uh, and the objective for this class. Then we're going to talk about the, cl the what classes in a short briefing. And then we are going to go, we want to go to the breakout room to practice a conversation, how to use they what clauses then we're gonna do some written exercises then if you have questions you tell me and then the session on one will be for blanca alejandra right blanca alejandra is your turn tonight for the session one on one okay teacher all right tell me 
and not pay or call. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, not payroll, but the role. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to pay. We're not going to pay, but it's the role. Thank you very much. I'm going to do it right now. Please get ready, everybody. Turn your cameras on. And when you hear that I call your name, please say present, right? You guys ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alamán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. All right. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Okay, Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Hello, Hazel, we miss you yesterday. Present. <laughs> All right, welcome. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Present teacher. Herman Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Javier Antonio Cortez Martinez. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Okay, he was on the text message. Message. He had a, a power cut. All right. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abelis Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Okay. Uh, yesterday we heard a baby over there. Maybe it was a baby? Yeah, yeah. All right. Congratulations, Abel. Thank you. Congratulations. Is everything Thank okay you. with your baby? Repeat. Is it everything okay? Yeah. Nice. Thank God. Thank God. All right. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. No Pedro tonight. Present teacher. Oh, there you go. Present teacher. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. Okay, Pedro. Okay, guys, let's go and see what is a what clause, right? Y diríamos ahorita así como, ¿y eso qué es? ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo se come? Well, a what clause, it's a clause, right? It's a clause that starts with the word what, okay? Es una eh, oración, uh, una cláusula, perdón, de, que depende de otras cláusulas dentro de la, de la oración, eh, que comienza con la palabra what, ¿ok? Y, se, y tiene diferentes usos, no solamente es uno un uso, ¿verdad? Y as, es muy similar a como lo usamos en español, pero hay que saber un poquito y tener un poquito de consideraciones, por ejemplo, que, eh, cuál sería la estructura de estas what clauses, ¿ok? Y cómo las identificamos, cómo se usan, y cómo las voy a usar yo, ¿ok? O cómo los va a usar usted, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a tratar de eh, explicar un poquito ahorita. En teoría, la pequeña teoría que quiero que ustedes sepan, lo básico sería esto. First of all, it's a noun class, ¿ok? It's a noun class. Uh, it means that we can substitute this clause as a noun or with a noun, right? So it means it could be a subject in a sentence, right? It could be maybe substituting um, objects, ideas, but being an object, right? Being an object. Also, um, it's a dependent clause, right? It's a dependent clause. It can be alone. Right? No la van a encontrar sola. 
that's why it's a dependent clause, okay? Uh, this is a letter A, pendant, right? Now, it takes the place of any known in the sentence, whether they are subjects, or objects, or subject complements, right? Subject complement. So it means that maybe the subject is right there, but this clause is together, right? Is with the subject. So let's look at one example. What you need ah, is to have a great product. Is a noun clause, it says, right? It's a noun clause. ¿Por qué decimos que sería un noun clause? Porque tiene funciones como un nombre, como un pronombre, como cualquier tipo de sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, podemos decir que esta cumple la norma porque yo podría sustituirla con un pronombre bien fácilmente que sería it. ¿Ok? Yo puedo sustituir esto y decir it. ¿Right? Toda esta frase, what you need, la puedo sustituir con it. Entonces cumple la primera, ¿verdad? It's a noun clause. ¿Right? Vamos a ver la siguiente. It's a dependent clause. Si yo digo solo what you need, mmm, estoy esperando algo, ¿verdad? Me hace falta decir algo. It's missing something after this clause. So it cannot be alone. No puede ir sola. We need a verb after it, or maybe we need a phrase, we need a noun, a noun, or we need any other kind of complement in the sentence. So we need something after this clause or before this clause too, because it can be um, in another position in the sentence, okay? So at the moment, we could say that it's a noun, it's a pen and because it cannot be alone, and it takes a place of any noun in the sentence. Any means that it could be the subject, the object, or subject complements, right? Those are functions, functions of these kind of words. But we are not going to stay in that at the moment, and we're going to see the examples, okay? Just to see how do we structure the what clauses, right? What clauses means that they have to take to they have to yeah take the word what. It could take uh, any other noun in it or pronoun in it, right? It takes a verb in it, right? It takes a verb in it. It could take a verb, an action in it. And after that, after that, we are going to use the verb to be, okay? The verb to be when this is a subject. When this is a subject, okay? The next verb will be the verb to be, okay? Entonces, cuando está esto sea el sujeto, vamos a utilizar is. For example, what you need is to have a great product. For example, okay? Here we've got some other examples. No necesariamente va a ser lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero media vez comienza con la palabra what. It starts with the what, what, no siempre es una pregunta, ¿ok? No siempre what va a estar en una pregunta. Acordémonos que tenemos, así como en español, el qué de pregunta y el qué que es un demostrativo, ¿verdad? So it's the same thing here, right? It's the same thing here. This is not a question. It's a phrase, right? It's a clause. So we're going to say like this. What I'm saying, y bien el verbo to be, right, is that it is not an easy task, right? What I'm saying is that it is not an easy task, okay? But this is another kind of use, okay? Like a thesis or a statement that you do. For example, maybe you are giving your opinion, but you are making, making an emphasis, right? Of something, 
or making it more relevant. So that then is when we use the word clause, right? Uh, no solo existen cláusulas con what, okay? Por eso es que quiero que pongamos atención cómo son las de what, para que posteriormente podamos ir comprendiendo las que tienen otras palabras a su inicio, ¿verdad? Otros usos, pero que son similares a esta. Aprendamos la de what primero y luego vamos a lo demás. Dígame, Ricardo. Tell me, Ricardo. When the use when the you use that is a no it's a question but, but uh, can I try and understand it uh, when the use uh, or to try to use with affirmation or yes it's a statement yes yes it is a statement it is a statement and a statement or a sentence can uh, can take more than one clause, right? More than one clause. In this case, we are just looking at one clause. This clause is a dependent clause using what, all right? Aparentemente, apparently, podríamos decir, we could say that what I'm saying, for example, okay? Es una oración completa, diríamos, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque hay un sujeto ahí, ¿verdad? Hay, ajá, hay un verbo. Y en un, este está conjugado. I'm saying, ¿verdad? Entonces, y tiene what al principio. Mm, no, no cuenta como pregunta porque no es pregunta. Es una afirmación. It's a statement, right? Pero si yo sigo what I'm saying, ah, le falta algo, ¿verdad? That is why this is, this is a dependent clause, all right? Por eso es que es una cláusula que depende de otra para poder tener significado, okay? To have a meaning, right? right? To be meaningful. So now we're gonna read in the next one and we're gonna say that Sorry. what my friend did, Sorry. right? Tell me. Sorry, uh, normally the people uh, uses this uh, firm with the state angry, I don't know for what. It's normally? With the state what? Angry. Oh, when they are angry, when angry, they are angry, um, maybe yeah. just to make a point or maybe just to, mm, uh, to emphasize, right? To emphasize my position, right? Or my mom position. So I think, yes, you can use it in, in that um scenario too right you can use it in that scenario but it's not uh just that we can use it anywhere in any way all right this is in every context in every context now we are just right. looking at the manufacturing context but if we try to think about the things that we want to say or we want to emphasize that we want to give our opinion, then we use this, right? Then we use this. For example, this, what my friend did, entero hasta acá, miren, hasta acá, esto amarillo, the, the words in yellow, those are the words for the clause, right? What clause? Mm -hmm. Tenemos what? Tenemos un sujeto, ¿verdad? My friend. Uh -huh. Y tenemos un verbo. We have a verb. Did, right? What my friend did. Pero, ¿qué hizo entonces, verdad? Queda missing something. That is why this is a dependent clause. So, we say the verb to be can be in any tense, right? Puede ir en cualquier tiempo verbal. It could be in the present, it could be in the past. That's usually, right? Usually those tenses are the most common. Even though we could use any hypothetical um, helping verbs like would, like should, right? We could use those, but not at this moment. Right here, we're seeing that these are going to be used as as subjects, right? As subjects. Subjects means that I can substitute, substitute this for a pronoun, for a noun, right? 
For example, what I'm saying could be replaced by it, right? It. It is that it is not an easy task, right? It is, or uh, in, in this case, it was get fresh ingredients, right? It was get fresh ingredients because it's only the action that we are saying after the clause, right? We are just explaining the action or the complement of that action, right? The complement for the subject too. So for example here, what I will do, okay? What I will do, lo que yo haría, what I will do is, bien el verbo to be, right? Is sell my product in new markets, right? Sell my product in new markets, for example, right? Is there any question so far about the what clauses that we read already? It could be like lo que. Yes. For example, lo que yo dije, lo que mi amigo hizo, lo que yo haría, lo que. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Vamos a ir al manual. Let's go to the manual. And in the manual, we, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I will share it in a different way. Uh, we are going to practice a conversation we've got there just to see how to use the word clauses in a conversation, talking about anything, talking about something, all right? So we are going to see these people, they are talking, okay? They are talking about manufacturing things, right? Manufacturing related topic. And this is, uh, Le vamos a decir hub, okay, and Kurt, right? Even though it is job, right? Job. Okay. I will read it and then I will read it slower, okay? Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think that, I, that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. I'm going to read this, read this slower, right? Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people, to these people, right? Okay, is there any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? The teacher, when Kurt says, says uh, a friend of mine, un amigo mío? Yes, correct. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the way to say a friend of mine, a friend, a friend of her, a friend, uh, sería hers, right? A friend of he, his, right? A friend of them, a friend of uh, ours, ours, right? A friend of ours, right? Okay. Un amigo de nosotros sería ours, right? Friend of theirs, a friend of theirs, I'm sorry. A friend of theirs, de ellos, right? Okay. 
Is there any other question? Is there any other question? Yes, teacher, I, I, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, just to be clear, I can replace this what closes with it? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can replace this with it. Mm -hmm. okay. Usually it is like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank yeah, you. so in because we can replace it with the pronoun it, we use the third person when we use the be, uh, the be verb, right? So we say is, was, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. That is why. All right. Okay. Let's listen to Wilbur and Pedro, please. Role play the conversation. Okay. okay. Uh, do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that uh, that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, uh, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmer. farmer. Sounds great. Uh, and at the same time, time, he contributes to these people. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Vamos a hacer algunas pronunciaciones. All right. Si se fijan, estas frases eh, con what, estas cláusulas con what, las vamos a pronunciar eh, eh, con una manera más característica, digamos, right? Por, por ejemplo, aquí es una pregunta, ¿sí? Pero si se fijan, hay una pregunta introductoria o la, pre, la main question, la pregunta principal es, do you know, right? Do you know? Y aquí vamos a unir el you con el what, what you need, right? What you, what you need, right? Kurt, do you know what you need? Okay, Kurt, do you... Do you know? Do you do you know what you what you need to have a good product? Right? Remember, it's a question. Entonces, aquí no vamos a utilizar el do. Miren, aunque tengamos esta eh, palabra de pregunta, what? Okay. Eso tenemos que tener en cuenta a la hora que leemos, a la hora que lo escribimos. Okay. Normalmente cuando lo hablamos, lo hablamos de esta manera. Es como más eh, práctico, right? Do you know what you need to have a good product? A ver todos, pronouncing this. Do you know what you need to have a good product? Do you know what you need? Do you know, know what you need to, what you have, need a to have a good product? product? Okay, veamos. This is a statement. So I think that, uh, that what I would do, what I would do, vemos, unimos este, esta T, Okay, como una T suave que ponemos hasta arriba, decimos, ¿verdad? D, D, decimos, what I, what I would do, right? Vamos a ver todos. What I would do. 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 Exactly, what I would do. I think that what I would do. I think that what I would do. Yes. There you go. Abramos un poquito la boca porque si, eh, eh, siempre nos vamos a trabar, ¿verdad? Porque siempre tenemos ese, eh, que no tenemos estos sonidos en nuestro lenguaje. Pero abramos un poquito la boca, exageremos la pronunciación para que nuestro cerebro la procese y se la aprenda, ¿ok? Vamos a ver acá. What I'm saying. 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 What, what I'm saying. There what, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. what I'm saying. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. 
what I'm right. saying. Mm -hmm. A ver, esta palabra, eh, a ver, a ver, díganme esta palabra, leanme esta palabra todos. Competence. 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 Yes. All right, all right. Es que usualmente competence. me la leen con, como competence, right? So, no, it's competence. Competence, Com right? Competence. Competence, yeah. Competence. Yes. Vamos a ver. Ahora, con esta frase, what my friend did, what my friend did, vemos que retraemos un poquito el what. No terminamos con la T, ¿verdad? Lo van a escuchar así muchas veces que no van a... Dijo what or what, right? So, what my friend did, 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 what my friend did. What my friend did. Yes, what my friend did. What, what my friend did. Mm -hmm. Lo que mi amigo hizo, right? What my friend did. Mm -hmm. And he what, con contributes, what? right? Contributes. Eh, al, hay otra pronunciación también que he escuchado, no, el, no la he escuchado en un diccionario, esta otra pronunciación, pero sí la he escuchado, es contributes, right? Contributes. Y la he escuchado en, en conferencias y todo, y, y suena bien, right? Contributes or contributes, right? Contributes, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Contributes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the synonymous of the contributes? Contrib collaborate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, support, right? Mm -hmm. Gives. All right. Now let's go to the next activity because we have to discuss the answers to the questions we have uh, stated over here, right? We have two questions. Let's read, what does Kirk's friends do to have better honey quality? Vamos a leer arriba. Let's go to read. What does Kirk's friends, friend do to have better uh, honey quality. Because he get fresh honey from local farmers. All right, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, vamos a escribirlo completo. Usemos la cláusula de what, usando what. What Kirk's friend, right? What Kirk's friend? Uh, me preguntaron do or did. What does? Okay. Uh, sería what Kirk's friend does, right? Y ahora pongo is, right? Is. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat what you said before? Get fresh honey from local farmers. Okay. All right, here we are. Y vemos que a la hora de contestar una pregunta, para eh, dar una respuesta mm, eh, enfática o de continuidad con la pregunta que me han hecho, yo puedo utilizar what clauses to, right? Okay. What Kirk's friend does is to get fresh honey from local farmers. Vemos que ya no es solamente la oración de subject, verb, and complement, right? We have different verbs in a sentence, right? Pero siempre que nos trabemos, que nos quedemos así como, eh, que me preguntó, regreso a lo básico. Remember, esa siempre es una buena estrategia. No olviden la estrategia básica. Go back to the subject, verb, and complement, right? But we are adding some more. Do you consider that quality is important? Do you consider that quality is important? What do you think? Um, Ricardo, do you consider that quality is important? 
Pues Ricardo. Uh, I'm sorry. I uh, yeah, uh, Tony, because I was looking at him right here, right? It's right below. Uh, okay, Tony. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> no worry. Um, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Are you that parents important? Uh, yes. Um, Use, uh, Va, vamos a lo básico acá para contestar y hagámoslo así como, como se debe, ¿ok? Yes, I do, right? Because the question is, do you consider the quality is important? Yes, I do, right? And then you give your explanation. What's your explanation? Yeah. Um, maybe I can use what my... Uh, what uh, my opinion or, or yeah, my opinion. why why is it important? Uh, uh, what I think uh, the quality is the better in any products. Okay. Yeah, it can be a difference, right? We can differentiate the kind of product from the competence, right? Yeah, all right, very good. Thank you, Tony. Uh, let's listen to Magdiel. Do you consider the quality is important? Mm, because. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because. Why? The product could be during, during more time. Durable or endure more time, right? Mm -hmm. Endure sería durar, ¿verdad? Eh, last es otra palabra para, eh, para durar también, ¿verdad? En el tiempo, right? So, because they product endures more time, all right? Endures. Yes or last, it's okay, right? Endures, dura más, okay? Now, what do you think, Hazel? Do you consider that quality is important? Do you call this word, why? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I do, because, mm -hmm. um, Siempre tiene que ser el producto. Um, actually, quality in this context we're looking at is the manufacturing. So yes, we are mm -hmm. talking about products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you go to buy a product, do you think that a quality product is, a, is better than a cheaper product? Yes. <laughs> Do you look for for quality or do you look for price? Price? For the price. Yeah. All right, uh -huh. good. Good. What is on sale? Hey, no, y de veras, fíjense, les voy a contar algo que me pasó. Me dice mi sobrina un día. Le digo, mira, necesito que vayas, por favor, ya que vas para el súper, ¿verdad? Eh, que me compres un cartón de huevos, ¿verdad? Entonces me dice, ah, pero ahorita está 5.90, algo así, más o menos. Bueno, hoy sí que no importa porque no tengo absolutamente ninguno, ¿ok? Pero me dice, mm, ok, pero tráeme el que tiene de los 20, right? Jumbo. <ríe> Entonces dice, mm, ese sí es un poquito más barato porque solo trae 20, pero le digo yo, por uno y fichas, mejor el de 30, ¿verdad? Entonces me dice, ¿y de qué marca le traigo? What brand do you want? Ah, le digo yo, mira, en realidad el que está de oferta es el más sabroso, le digo yo. <laughs> right? Ajá. So, Pero no siempre es el mejor, que no, tiene you, mejor calidad. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, it's not quality. Yeah, but sometimes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we we'll look for price instead of quality. Yeah, you're right. 
even though in eggs, I think we have the um, advantage that you may go to the supermarket and tell them, okay, I have these three eggs, please change it, right? And they do it. But in uh, there are some places that they don't. So yes, that's important. Quality is important, right? Why? Como decía Magdiel, the product endures more time, right? Okay, guys, we have only four minutes to 10. So let's uh, take a look on the last or the next activity we have in our manuals, because in the manual, we have an, a short explanation about the short, I mean, the word clauses. So let me show you here. Okay. How to use what clauses, what clauses or what clauses, right? Clauses, no digan clauses, say clauses. Claw, like this, claw, like claw, right? Clauses. Let's read. What clauses are often the subject of the verb be, which can be followed by a word, phrase, or a clause? And then we have some uh, clauses you, uh, or what clauses, right? And we want to see how they use them, right? What you need is to have a great product. What my friend did was, podríamos uh, decir to get or only get, and it is okay, okay? We could say what my friend did was to get fre fresh ingredients. What I would do, what I would do, is sell my product in your markets. What I'm saying is that it is not an easy task, right? Okay, and then here we've got these sentences. Las vamos a hacer el día de mañana, ¿qué les parece? Is it okay tomorrow? It's a great idea. Okay, it's the best idea you heard tonight, all right. Bien, solo les voy a decir que ya hay una actividad que, a la que pueden accesar en el discussion label, remember, on the platform, and is about uh, what classes, right? It's about what classes, classes. And um, you may see a video there. Ahí les puse el link, you have the link, you click on the link first, watch the video. And then please give us a comment uh, using what class clauses. Ahí les puse un listado. There is a list, a list where you can find some clauses that you can use to give your opinion, right? About that product. The product is a Galaxy phone. If I'm not wrong, it's A23, right? Uh, no, 833 and A53 uh, 5G, right? Yeah. Okay. Then you watch the video, then you give your opinion using the work clauses. You may use the list you have there to guide, right? To guide your opinion and to give your statements, right? Now, is there any questions so far? Teacher, where is the link? I can see the link. Um, in the platform. All right, ah, I will okay. show you. Mm -hmm. There is a link on the platform because that's a discussion activity, right? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. So here it is. Thank you very much. You see how to use what clauses? You open it up and then okay, here is the you. link, all right? Mm. It's a phone presentation. It's a launching of, of, some, of these two models of Samsung. Okay. Okay. Alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No questions? All right. Okay, remember to do your homework. And now I just, uh, allow me to, um, to take the attendance, right? Remember you have to turn your cameras on and say present when I call your name.
Claro que intenté llamarla directamente, le, dejé, le he dejado varios mensajes, pero... Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Exactamente como suena. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Yamilet Corea, Coreas. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio de del, del CID. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. Ah, you told me about him, right? Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present Karen, teacher. Okay, Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Esaú García Present Morales. Present teacher, sorry. Thank you, Karen. Magdiel. Present teacher. All right. Present. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Adelis Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. It's, I mean, if you don't have any question, uh, Blanca, are you still available to stay with me? Yes, I'm here. All right. Okay, people, have a very good night. Do your homework before going to bed, all right? And after you may go to bed, <laughs> after you do your homework, all right? That Thank will you, be the sure. last good step. Bye-bye. Good, good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Night. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. Okay, Blanca, here we are. Okay, teacher. Sorry, give me for a minute. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. Uh, hello, Blanca. I'm hello sorry. again. Hello. I'm glad to see sorry, you again. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Me too. So yesterday I have some problems, but I would like to take a review because I can't see the last class, but and, and now it was some difficult because I have um, my baby and my baby was okay. near more, more station. Yeah, I know. I can tell about the babies and yes, it's necessary to uh, take care of them. All right. Um, well, yesterday we studied about the sequence works. It's not only to use, I will show you my slides and also some, um, some, uh, uh, we're gonna say details, right? At the some first, uh, from... at the first, uh, okay. At the beginning of the class of today, I saw that um, they talk about, uh, when we talk about a uh, story and we, we had a, a frequency, but I will, Review what kinds of um, words to connect a sentence. All right. Uh, this is not exactly to connect sentence. And this uh, topic, we were talking about these words that indicate mm -hmm. a step 
in progress or a step uh -huh. in a process, right? Here we're not saying um, like uh, connectors, right? Even though uh -huh. they are, right? Even though they are, here we are just marking, marking when a step finish and when step when um, ste a step is um, in progress, right? Or okay. it's going to happen. So those words that we were reading, I mean, learning, um, I will show you here this list is we uh, use the ordinal numbers as usual, right? We can say any, number of ordinal numbers and it will be okay. But that's in a presentation, for example, you use first, second, third, and then you are saying the ordinal numbers. But when you are telling or when you are, yeah, telling like a story, how to do something or how something is made, then you use first, second, we could say until third, it's acceptable. And then we say then, right? We use after, we can use next, we can use uh, these right then to make these closer, um, closer um, advance, right? Uh, or uh, advancing. Uh, this uh, could be this closer order from one to the other step, right? It's closer. Okay. And it's like indispensable, right? It's needed. That is why when we use right then, not after, not later, not two minutes after, right? Or not before, right then. So it's indicating something very specific. And then right after, right after is kind of similar. And then we have finally. Finally means it the end, right? means the end of the process. And then we were saying that um, nope. we have, <clears throat> we have this as in this conversation we started yesterday. Look, we said oh, first, okay. second, and finally, right? Do you wanna practice this conversation? I will be Anna and you will be Mark, okay? So. Okay, okay. Do you want me to read it first or you want to do it just without reading first? If do you want, uh -huh. and let's start you. Okay, let's start let's together. Do it. Oh, okay. okay, let's do it. Okay, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. All right, this is the way, or this is the content, context that we were talking about. This is manufacturing, so they are making something and there are steps for each, um, for each stage of the manufacturing process, right? So we say, for example, first, we could say second, even though we could say thinking, then. I was thinking that we talk uh, for connect ideas or when we talk about the the story but now it's clear that it's for a process and in the order exactly it's for the stages okay. right to mark okay. the steps right to mark the steps okay. that is why we when we use these um these words they are sequence words sequence words okay. and we have the manufacturing um uh, as an introductory thing we did yesterday it was to um convey this concept what is manufacturing what is manufacturing okay 
Aquí está en desorden, right? So we have to put this in order, right? Vamos okay, a sorry, armar un sure. concepto. What means, what means manufacturing? Manufacturing es lo que vamos a descubrir acá, okay? El concepto. This is the concept of manufacturing. Manufacturing. ¿Qué idea le da manufacturing? What idea do you see with uh, manufacturing? Like a process. Like a process. Uh -huh. mm. A process about the, a product. All right, mm. uh-huh. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I will show you a different a different slide. Okay. This is to uh okay. Here it is. This is manufacturing, right? Mm. You can read here, can you? Okay. Ah, okay. Easy making of good by hand or by machine. Is that a pump compression? Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Of any competition, the it's it could be like the process um, before to sell a product to to make it right it. to uh, make it uh huh like in a factory right like uh, in a factory okay. yes okay. so uh, <clears throat> I will show you. ¿Cree que lo puede hacer este último? El que le había enseñado antes. Yes, yes. All yeah, right. Ya le logré comprender. All right. Now, you have to put in order this, right? Okay. First, mm -hmm. show the use of tools, machinery, human level, this is the... or, chemical uh -huh. Uh -huh. or chemical processing. Then... Mm, second, raw materials of par or parts, and then it's transforming or processing, and ah no 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 um first trial the use of tools, machinery, human labor or chemical processing. Uh -huh. Second, I mean, I it's uh -huh. Uh -huh. second it's transforming or or processing and then how materials of parts and finish into finishes good. Finished, good, all right. Bye. Vamos a armarlo. I have some mistakes. Yes, but, um, yes, but we are gonna case. check it. Don't worry, yes. all right. I think uh, that it changed. How materials are part or parts is transforming or processing. Uh -huh. Okay, but una, una de las formas or one of the ways to give a concept is as we were saying, how do we answer a question? Because here we say, what is manufacturing? Como iniciaría nuestra respuesta? What is? Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is transforming or processing. Yes, correct. Right. I but, didn't use the logic. Okay. But I didn't use that logic. All right, all right. It's transforming or processing. What? What, what do we transform or what do we process? Yes, raw materials. Mm -hmm. Or parts. Or parts. Uh huh. Into what? What kind of or raw material? Ah. Uh huh. Into finished Good. goods, right? Ah, okay. Now, what do we use to do that? What do we use to transform our processing? Ah, uh, we to use exactly. Mm -hmm. So now ah, it is okay. in order. Esto es para aprender a hacer el concepto de algo, ¿ok? Cómo dar okay. una respuesta. What is manufacturing? Well, it's, we start with it's, transforming or processing raw materials or parts into finished goods through the use of tools, machinery, 
human labor or chemical processing, right? Okay, okay. Okay. Thank and you, I was so confused. No problem, no problem. All right, I think that was uh, almost everything. Because okay, tonight we did, uh, si le costó porque no estuvo, verdad, en la, en la, en la, sí. en la, en el ejercicio del breakout room. Era Andaba, esto. Ajá, andaba uh -huh. un poco perdida porque pues tuve que salir y de ahí regresar y cuando vine vi que estábamos ya en el, en el breakout room, entonces no presté mucha atención, la verdad, pero sí, pero, o sea, sí, cuando ya me volví a conectar, que ya estaba con los otros chicos, este, ya me, me, me dio, escuché que estaban conversando de que había que hacer el proceso del, del café, del café y que no encontraban cómo hacerlo, pero Ay, no me claro. detuve a leer ni nada, porque la verdad andaba bien perdido, o sea, no sabía en sí de qué, qué era lo que, lo que estaban haciendo. Ok, these are the steps to produce the dark chocolate, espresso. It means that it's mixed chocolate, milk, and coffee, right? So, and, I, and I was, and I was here that talk about leche condensada. No. Yes, yes. We condense fresh whole milk, right? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the exercise was, uh, well, it is on page 10. If you want to go to your okay. manual, okay, you may read each step to make a conclusion here, okay, to, to, um, to think what's the next step after the first one, right? Uh, okay. Then you start to make a logic process, mm -hmm. right? Of manufacturing. It doesn't matter if it is not like mine, right? Because you have your point of view and maybe you think, okay, um, this is the way that I think, right? Or mm -hmm. maybe you think, okay, they are needing the raw materials, then they have to transport it, then they have to distribute it. And after that, okay, you are having those other point of view. We have different points. Yes, but there is a general uh, process, right? There is okay. a general process of manufacturing something and that's the logic process that you have to follow. Okay. Uh, I, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I, I will send this, okay? Okay. Through the, uh, okay, I will I send it you. later through the WhatsApp group and uh, okay. for you to take a look on it and then you study and you may watch the video again to know how we, um, uh, how we explained, right? These exercises, okay. right? I have just a little question more. Uh, okay, tell what me. Means undergoes and the number 10 chocolate undergoes the mm -hmm. final station okay. undergoes what means undergoes es que llega al punto final llega llega quiere decir undergoes es como baja verdad al final pero okay. baja es como da la idea de que viene desde arriba y llega como va bajando right undergoes okay, it's como... like a factory it's like a factory. Yes, or a factory. factory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe they do this in a, in a higher level or an upper level. So that's why they say undergoes, right? But it is, this is a word for the final steps, right? When a product takes okay. that final step. So we say undergo. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. All right, Blanca. My pleasure. Much. <laughs> My pleasure. It and, is easy. Okay. Please do your homework number one and your homework number two. All right. Okay. Now uh, I'm going and to we have it. a discussion already. You may watch the video okay. and then you give your opinion. Okay, teacher. All Thank right? you so much. Very good. Okay, no problem. And see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Okay, thank you. You too. Good night. Thank you very much. Bye.